So let's say I want to differentiate y equals e to the 3x to the 4 minus 5x plus 2. Now I can use uh, the chain rule to differentiate that. So dy by dx, the derivative of what's inside the function comes outside. So that will be 12x cubed take away 5. And e just differentiates to itself, so that won't change much at all. In fact, that is dy by dx. OK, so it begs the question as to whether I can reverse this process, OK, reverse the chain rule. So if I had something like, um, let's say, 6x plus 8 um, times e to the, uh, let's say, what could we have? Let's... Uh, Let's work it backwards instead, right? So let's say I've got uh, 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. Uh, let's not have 5, let's have, uh, let's have 8, OK? So 5x squared minus 8x plus 2. And let's have 20x minus 16 inside the bracket, OK? So... With these, I need to think about whether the uh, coefficient of the e, that 20x minus 16, okay, the number out the front, the uh, expression out the front, is it uh, a multiple of the derivative of what's inside the function, in much the same way as I've been dealing with before. So. 20x minus 16, then the derivative of what's inside the function is 10x minus 8. So yes, it is a multiple of that. If it was 20x minus 15, lots of e to the 5x squared minus 8x plus 2 dx, then I wouldn't be able to use this process. Okay, It wouldn't be uh, what I required. So a slight difference causes this whole uh, situation to break down. So, what have I got then? Well, if I think about having e to the 5x squared minus 8x plus 2 and differentiating that, then I'm going to get uh, the 10x minus 8 coming out to the front. And just having that as 10x minus 8 times e to the 5x squared minus 8x plus 2. So if I now compare the 20x minus 16 to the 10x minus 8, I've actually got twice the amount that I need. OK? So I am going to need it to be two lots of e to the 5x squared minus 8x plus 2 plus c in order to multiply that by 2 to get me back to what I started with. So when I differentiate this, I get two lots of that, which gets me back to what I started with. OK? These are often easier to spot than some of the other ones that we've dealt with previously. OK? So I'm going to go through some examples of this in the next video.